So finally, for this lesson then, if we try doing the same thing, use the same procedure to derive the results for the expected and variance of a Poisson. So um, same approach, um, the probability generating function for a Poisson is the probability for Poissons multiplied by t to the x, that's your standard probability generating function. Giving our standard result for the probability generating function of a Poisson, e to the lambda times t to the minus 1. Okay, so you could have just gone straight to that stage and quoted your result. Differentiating. So e to the lambda t minus 1 differentiates to lambda times e to the lambda t minus 1. Substitute 1 in to that formula. If we put 1 in there for t, then we get lambda times e to the 0, which is just equal to lambda. So your expected value for x for the Poisson is proved derived to be equal to lambda. And for the variance, differentiate again. So um, differentiate. Uh, so again, we multiply by lambda, giving us lambda squared, e to the lambda t minus 1. Substitute 1 in, and we get lambda squared. And then our variance formula, variance is equal to second derivative with 1 in minus first derivative with 1 in minus first derivative with 1 in squared. So we get lambda squared plus lambda minus lambda squared, which again is equal to lambda. So quite a neat little proof of the mean and the variance for lambda. So when we first met the Poisson, we were just, I just gave you those results. Um, this is the derivation um, of why the expected and the variance for um, the Poisson distribution are both the same and both equal to uh, lambda.